So once you log in uh, to your Minecraft Education Edition account um, and you want to set up a world either for the first time or new worlds as you're getting to look learn the tool, you can click on the play button and you can see that there are a couple options in here that uh, kind of bring you to the same place um, over time. If you uh, click on create new right off the bat, it will ask you if you want to create uh, a new, which is kind of like a blank uh, world for you. And then there's the templates section, which kind of brings you to the library over here. Um, View my worlds is another place that uh, I'll show you, which kind of brings you to the same place, which is, okay, here's a world I've created and here's the option for a new world. You can search your worlds at the top once you get lots of them in there. But for now, I'm going to click on the plus button here, which is the same as clicking on create new here. If I choose new, again, this is that sort of blank uh, template. You're not using anything from it. Obviously, there's still a world there, but there's nothing that you've uh, incorporated from somebody else's uh, work, making it a copy of that template. Um, you can ref refer to the um, game setting OCSB how-to video on different settings for you. Um, creative is always a good starting point and peaceful, and then you can continue to go down uh, these settings. And when you're ready, you can click on play, and then there will be a video on hosting on how do you invite your um, students to this, uh, to this world to uh, play and learn. So when I come back here, um, that's create new, I would give it um, uh, an option. And when I click on play, it will save. The other option is uh, go from templates. I, I've Personally, and this is all preferential, I like clicking on the view of the library and there's different lessons and biomes and how to uh, piece so I can kind of see those lessons, the biomes and the worlds, there's resources. So don't forget to uh, to look at that. And then um, I'd like seeing what's there, it gives me some ideas. There's different uh, educator resources that are that are in here and that will, this is popping up on my web browser. So it brings you to the education.minecraft.net hub um, that is not in the app that we've downloaded. So I'm gonna come back and then uh, click on create new just to show you this last entry point with templates. And then I'm gonna view more uh, templates in here which kind of brings you to that library. It will load in. It is. It might take a few moments, and this is where you can kind of search different uh, aspects of the tool. Um, you can type in a word such as energy or anything that you wanted to focus on um, for for your class. And then, similar to uh, Hapara Workspace, you can copy it, and then that would be your entry point. Um, so, if this was the world I wanted, or on uh, Intrac, you can obviously click on it. Um, and then let's see if I'm going to click on movement. It kind of gives you a uh, description of it um, and what the goals are and reading more. Um, you could share a link to it, but in this case, I want to kind of create a world. And it's uh, going to be looking at uh, generating a world. This is making the copy for yourself. So you can see that I'm in my world right now. And uh, I want to kind of... Um, I'm pressing escape on mine because there is some settings on how to look at. So when I pressed escape on my control, because I had the default settings, you might have changed yours. You can see that there are now settings um, to my world. And this is how I can get to those immediate settings. Or I can totally exit this, this world and then go back to these uh, game settings as well. And you can see that um, there's maybe instructions on how to play. And then here is where you would also um, start hosting, which is how you would um, get your students to start uh, joining you or other uh, members. And when I click on that, um, they can join your world. I'm going to confirm. And then I'm going to talk about it in a different uh, video right here. It's giving a random code. And it's actually not a numerical code. It's going to be um, it's going to be a uh, diff different symbols. You might have Steve and pickaxe and and uh, creeper, that type of thing. So you're going to see that. But I'll stop there for now, uh, and because this will be another OCSB how-to video. So when I'm ready, I'm going to click on Escape, um, and I'm going to uh, be ready to um, go back. And in here, I'm going to save and uh, exit. And it's going to bring me back to my main piece here. And when I go into my worlds, you're now going to have that movement tutorial there. I can always click on it and adjust settings there. So this is um, the quick uh, overview on how to create uh, worlds either by blank uh, canvas or by going into uh, created worlds and copying them for your own use.